Hello, welcome to my latest video. Now I've just finished painting this one, which turned out quite nicely. So watch me paint it here and talk my usual random nonsense. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that jazz. Now, I've been up since the crack of Chaffinch Fart um, about quarter past four this morning because I've been working. But I've, I've finished work, come home, I'm going to do a bit of painting. So I'm going to go on this new stretch canvas I've got. I'll put a layer of gesso on. It is 18 by 14 inches and we'll get going so i'll show you what's on my palette first of all um i have got indian yellow i've got red ochre ultramarine blue um what's it called raw umber i think i, I don't know i'm tired brown we'll call it and titanium white um so first thing i'll do is grab a bit of blue and just bung it in this um Indian yellow. Oh, dogs are going already. Oh, Adam and Eve. It. My apologies. They've been well behaved a little late. But yeah, my three beloved terriers. So yeah, nice muddy colour. Earthy, greeny brown with that red ochre in. A bit more blue maybe and there we go right then give my part knife a quick wipe um get some ultramarine blue it's pretty much the same i do every time each video with my colors it's the way that works for me it makes a nice gray color a bit more perhaps Really stir it in. There we go. Part knife, quick wipe again. And I'll just grab a chunk of this titanium white, put it in this corner over here with some blue in, and make a nice sky colour, hopefully. And there we go. Let's get started. Palette knife a wipe again and grab my same brush as yesterday. Um, I like this brush, it's my new favourite from the hardware shop. Nice big decorating brush and I like it. I might get another one actually, I might have spare because it's only around the corner from me. A quick dry because I washed it from yesterday. Right, let's get some, oh what I do need to get my tray to hand with my paint thinner in. My non-toxic stuff. And we shall start. Just give my brush a quick dip in that um, paint thinner. Just grab some of this green that I mixed. Right. Quick, um, I can't think today. Horizon thing, that's the one. God almighty. I really don't like early mornings, so you know, as many of you know. Good. Quick wipe. Ah, I might get um, some of that grey colour with a bit of blue. I've got grey on that corner, blue on that corner, and just go like that. It just gives the Illusion, I suppose, of some distance, which we'll see in a minute. Well, 
whenever you look at something in the distance it tends to have a blue tint to it I don't know I don't know why but that's what I see anyway Bush of white it's gonna be quite a quick one I think with a nice big brush oh, helicopter flying over I don't know if that picks up on the camera Oh, during my mountain rescue days, I used to go in helicopters. It sounds like Coast Guard. I see I've got a good ear for helicopters. I can hear, listen to them. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Coast Guard weather. But, um, yeah, a um, couple of times went um, training. Um, with 202 Squadron at RAF Leckenfield, you know, with the big yellow Sea Kings and all that. And it was it was bloody tragic when um, they stopped flying; they were disbanded. Miss the Sea Kings, good fun. But anyway. Um, I think it was maybe my first time there and I had, I'd, I'd took a cash card with me and you know I had my wife saying don't lose it you know otherwise you're dead you know the usual and um, I had it in a, a zip pocket just here in my mountain rescue jacket and all that palaver and you know you have a safety briefing and you, you you know you spend a couple of hours going through what you do and what not to do and what to touch and what not to touch and basically don't die so um you know we'd had all that and um you know we got winched up and winched down and flew around and you know did all sorts of fun stuff just to get used to it all, because if we were called out and we had to go in a Sea King, we knew what to do and it wasn't all a big surprise, you know, so uh, it was it, it was some of the best days ever training there. And, you know, doing stuff for mountain rescue is just incredible. Lovely cloud effect going on now here. Just just with the tiny white, it's, it's dragged up that blue and the green which is nice I like that but yeah I have mean, my cash card in this zip pocket and I got winched up in this bloody helicopter which is the craziest thing craziest experience um, it's over in seconds you know but um because because we're training helicopter was only literally here you know you, you, you could jump and touch the wheel you know it's hovering that close because training circumstances that you can't winch terribly high, you, you know, if it was real emergency, you know, you'd be up, you know, 150 metres or so, you know, you'd be going up to um, 100 metres. Less than that, maybe. I'm probably thinking of feet. But anyway, um, I got winched up and harnessed myself in and everything else like that. And the noise is tremendous. And, you know, it's you can't hear a thing. And... It's all done with hand signals and all the rest of it and lots of pointing. So um, I was in the helicopter, I was strapped in, um, I was next to the big door, you know, and these great big yellow sea kings. I was next to the door and um, we, you know, the, the pilots knew it was us, that they, they liked to mess about a little. So he just went and, you know, we were, you know, absolutely loving it. It was amazing. And, um, you know, go pretty high as well. You know, it'd be very high up. I don't know how much in feet because, you know, I was looking out the window going, oh, bloody hell, you know, this is amazing. I'd forgotten to do my zip pocket up. And unbeknownst to me, and my colleagues opposite on a bench, you know, three of them sat there looking at me all strapped in. Just, just watching this cash card work its way out of my pocket, you know, in the in the down blast of this bloody uh, the rotors and the wind and everything, because the wind is atrocious in them things. 
and you know I looked down I was aware of it happening and the wind just snatched my cash card and it just spun in midair for in just seconds you know spinning I went well I had to try and grab it and it went straight out the window and just buggered off over Yorkshire you know must have been a few thousand feet up this bloody cash card <laughs> bogged off out the window <laughs> so if anyone finds it it's a long shot <laughs> but um I'd stop smiling and laughing because I thought oh shit I'm in trouble when I get home aren't I <laughs> spent the rest of the day and the journey home going oh god how am I going to explain this oh Funny. So there'll be some sheep in Yorkshire with my cash card embedded in it. So I don't know. It was a good while ago now. But yes, it was amazing fun. I'd love to go back to that. There we would. Great times. Yeah, it's quite a nice bluey greeny bit there, lovely bit of distance. Some nice lines and textures going on. Nice patch of light there, on there, might do something with that in a minute. Some interesting lines just coming down there as well. So um, yeah, nice and pleased. Let's get a bit of that blue as well, put that up there. bit of darker blue as well. Yeah, I'm pleased with this already. It just shows how quick you can do it. You know, if you if you like me and have scant patience for anything, got no patience at all, or you've got a busy lifestyle, doing it this way, you know, it just takes, you know, 20 minutes and you've got a painting. You know, I'm, I haven't got the patience to be sitting for weeks on end, you know. And I, I admire people who do. You know, you can be really quick and still have a painting at the end of it. in white yeah ultra ultra pleased with that that's worked really well it's not often I say that so early on in a painting it's normally towards the end a uh, little dab of green in the sky as well just there in that corner Yeah, I am very, very pleased. It's one of my better skies. Definitely that is. Right, let's um I haven't used much I haven't used any of this grey actually. I might put a bit down here. Just to darken off that foreground a little. Maybe a bit of red ochre as well. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. I've got a, a hole, I've got a concrete floor, and I've got a habit of leaning back on my chair. And the leg of my chair went down the hole. I have to be careful of that. I'm going to go over one day. Oh. But, you know, I've had this studio a couple of years and, you know, within about two days, I started getting holes in the, in the concrete where I'd been leaning back. How wood is stronger than con concrete? I do not know. I do not understand that. But anyway, I might have to uh, do some sorting out in here one day. Uh, a bit more green. Mm. 
Right, I wonder if I get a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of Indian yellow, just a touch, just mix it in that white a bit more. I'm trying to pick green up as well, but if I do, it doesn't matter. You know, Indian yellow is an amazing colour. It really is. I'll get some more out of the tube. Because, you know, it comes out of the tube brown. And I've said it before, you know, you add a little bit of um, titanium white, it just pops. It's a, a magical colour. Let's get a little bit more of that. Very rich and bright colour, but not too bright, not too sickly, you know. If you use primary yellow, it can be very sickly. Uh, let's have a look. Let's give me brush a quick wipe. Just pick up some of that. I uh, might also put some in each corner as well. So uh, I've got Indian yellow, the, the mixture, the, the Indian yellow and the white. And I've got white there as well. Just gently whiz it across, just create a bit of light there. And there as well. And once I've done that bit, which is quite pleasant, I can then wipe away with some tissue. I'll just uh, give me a brush quick clean while I'm here. This bit's quite magical as well when it works. It doesn't always work, but a little bit of tissue paper, fold it up and then just wipe and it just creates a nice bit of light for you. I'll keep folding as I go so it doesn't get mucky. Not bad. Maybe some there as well. There was a little something there. It could be a bush, a shrub, a tree, whatever. A building. It could be anything. A little tiny speck of something. Now get some more tissue. Mm -hmm. Just rub this foreground a bit. Just whack some texture in. Perhaps trees. Could be anything there. Pleased so far, not bad, not bad. I get a bit more of that grey. Uh, let's put something there. the rocks or anything you know In there as well been quite gentle So some nice distance going on there, the illusion of hills and things, which is nice. Yeah, I think we're nearly there. That's how quick it is, you know. 
20 minutes and you've got something not bad at all there's also it could be a, a building there on the hillside i think that looks quite good some nice lines as well going on so yeah right i'll get a bit more detaining white with my palette knife and just knife that on just there and there's a bit of yellow mixed in as well which is nice bit of my Indian yellow and somewhere as well and that is all there is to it so yeah jobs are good and I reckon I wonder if we just put a track in something I just put some um, grey on the end of my palette knife track or road or something just there maybe if I can Oh, it's quite effective though, just knifing a bit up. Bit of yellow. Yeah, that's uh, worked quite well. Goody gun jobs. Right, where was I? That track or whatever I was going for. knife on a bit of this grey yeah not bad it'll do quite nicely so yeah I think the job is a good one yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that track but um, yeah it'll do me it just leads the eye in a bit so um, yeah short and sweet ultra quick we've got a painting off a up and blank canvas in 20 or so minutes so i hope you like let me know in the comments what you think don't forget to subscribe and all that business and um, i'm also on as well as youtube on instagram johnkid.co.uk and facebook so yeah short and sweet the job is a good and just about dandy so thank you so much for watching i'm going to get some sleep hopefully and i will see you in the next video bye bye